it's Swiftkey and welcome to Life is Strange, my new series for the channel. Uh, this is a game that's been around for a while and it's always been on my to playlist, but I've just never gotten around to it and uh, I've actually managed to stay pretty unaware of this game. I've never watched anyone else play it, I've never watched anyone stream it, so I'm going into this completely blind, which I'm really excited about. Uh, apparently it's a a super intense game. Uh, my best friend actually suggested I play it for the channel and she warned me that it's it's very emotionally intense but it's a really good story. So let's get into it. Uh, screen size. Yes. How do I? Oh, what did I do? Okay. Um, yes. Okay, we'll start a new game. Uh, let's go into the options and make sure that I actually have subtitles on. Yes, okay. Uh, looks good. All right, we'll head on back. Head on back and let's go new game. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all of your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Oh gosh, this is a decision-based game. This is not going to go well for me. <laughs> I tend to agonize over decisions. Okay, hi. Ooh, that scared me. That's not good. Please get up. <laughs> I'm guessing you're the main character. Where am I? What's happening? Good question. I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Okay. Oh, am I playing now? Alright, let's go to the lighthouse, random person who I don't know who you are. Come on, girl, you can do it. Oh, right, that giant tornado is concerning. Why are we not concerned about that? Blackwell Academy. Okay. What looks to be a campfire. Just a dream. That was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. Heck. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. I'm left -sided. Seriously, though, Why can't I look I could at frame things? any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? 
Cold to obvious. Drag towards look and what if Arbus chose to photo. capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? Oh, jeez, look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Okay. She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I can't I believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Robert but Frank. I like it old school. Me too, Victor. I do love my analog camera. The essence of I should take a quick picture that. now. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air. But a beauty in the struggle. You, you don't have beauty without a beat. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, you're asking me or I did know? Uh, let's go with I did know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all my about My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. Or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. All right. I do like that there's voice acting in this game, so I can give my voice a bit of a second kissing ass. So I can give my voice a bit of a break. Etched marks. This might make a cool shot. Sure. Like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent. Oh my God, you're such a kiss ass woman. Putting yourself out there in the world. Uh, Kate. Now, no matter who wins, this is just a bump on a bigger Kate world. looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Let's talk to her. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. I had my moment in the camera. Um, you seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. Uh, Victoria's already run, or do you want to go grab a cup of tea? Um. I don't want to say Victoria has already won. I hear that. Want to go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Oh. Okay. Um. Computer. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. I don't know what to use it Looks for. like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Okay. There's too many things to interact with. I'm just gonna like waste so much time interacting with things. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Uh, Pop Vine is Grunge Dead, featuring lace works from Mark Jefferson. Ten reasons to get electronic mail. Okay. Hmm. 
That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Okay. Photo equipment. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. Yeah, moving around is really difficult. <laughs> so cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. Synapse, Mark Jefferson's Noir Beauty, Film versus Digital, who will win? I think Digital's winning out, though some people do still use analog like she does. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I don't want to use it because she'll totally call me out Even on that. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Yeah, teenagers are dicks. All right. Uh... Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, lighthouse? You can never escape the lighthouse here. That's the lighthouse from the dream. Weird. Alright, um... Do we want to try to talk to Mr. Jefferson? This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Mm. Uh, Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max. You're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. So I guess I can't talk to him anymore. Aw, oh, Max, you need to be more confident in your abilities, girl. If your teacher thinks you have talent, then you probably have talent. He is a professional photographer. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. Dang. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. All right, well, I think that's everything to check out in this room, so. Let's you didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome always to the real world. Cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special I picture. Oh, uh, high school flashbacks. <laughs> she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Good idea. Block out the teenage rambling. Yeah, this is giving me like serious high school deja vu. Uh, episode one, Chrysalis. Oh, I get to control this? Okay. I don't really need to check out everybody. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. Uh, I guess I won't open that. Imagine a world without oh, Brooke seems cool. I like her hair. 
be part of the world. It looks like she's been gone for months. Missing from Arcadia Bay, date missing April 22nd, 2013. 19 years old, 5'5, 110, blonde hazel, tattooing calf of a dragon and a star on the inside of the left wrist. Rachel Amber, age 19. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. American okay. girls in the movies. No one can tell where your heart is. That's so messed up. American I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Shiny smiles and plastic. Save Arcadia Bay. Raise your voice against pollution. I wish I had. Okay. Um, guy free zone. Good thing I left my AK. Or gun free zone. Kai free zone. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. Kai free zone. Pencil's office. Where the hell are the bathrooms? Oh, bathrooms. Okay. Uh, teenage love happening there. Uh, can I not get in there? Unless that's the bathroom. Let's head into the bathroom. Wondering why she cries sometimes. Talking about her own place. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> Rachel Amber is a bitch. Isn't she the one who's missing? Now who would bother to write that crap? Interesting. Here we go. Get together, girl. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Aww. Fuck it. Aw, Max. Don't do that. Oh. Butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, bro, you don't get a photo op like this every day. True that. Take a picture of it. It's like it posed for you. Man, wildlife isn't usually that, uh... Cooperative when you're trying to get a picture. Oh shit. That this is the girls' bathroom, dude. I'm meeting somebody, aren't you? It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're Whoa. messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What? Holy shit. What the? Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. 
And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example no, of a photo? I cannot believe this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Hold right mouse button to rewind. I did it. Now, I actually did it. Of a photographer who perfectly I'm a captured human the time machine. In black and white. What? Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, tortured. I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not of dreaming course, this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. Selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I the point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. First. I need to go to the bathroom Long quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I feel sick or I have to use the bathroom. I'll say I feel sick. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Detail in people's faces. All right, this is cool. How crazy! Yes, yes, yes. Hold shift to rewind faster. Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh. The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. Ha! Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? This does not exist. This will be the weirdest journal entry I will ever make. So weird, I don't know how or where to start. But it started with the most vivid dream of my life. I was lost in a storm by the lighthouse until I came to the edge of the cliff. Then I saw a giant tornado headed for Arcadia Bay. It was so real that I could feel the rain stinging my face and I was scared shitless. Then a boat hit the lighthouse and I swear I actually felt like I was going to die. But I woke up in Mr. Jefferson's class and I wasn't even sleeping. I almost fell out of my chair. Jefferson called on me by a totally blue answer. Of course, Victoria pounced on me and made me feel, look like a bigger idiot. She's so awful. Then I didn't have the guts to turn in a photo for the Everyday Heroes contest while well, Victoria did her usual suck up to Jefferson. He's so cool and he clearly wants me to succeed. Okay, so does this like help me keep track of what's happened? Oh geez, there's all kinds of stuff here. Alright, let's start on page one. I got accepted into Blackwell Academy. If words could dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But who cares, because I got into Blackwell Academy. I didn't think I would be so excited, since it's not like I didn't used to live in the same town. But when I saw the text from the Blackwell Scholarship Office, I could literally feel my pulse speed up. I thought I was going to say, sorry, thanks for playing. It took me a few seconds before I read the whole thing. I guess I wanted to enjoy that last moment of blissful ignorance. But when I saw the first word, congratulations, I think I screamed. My mom cried and my dad laughed. They're so weird, but they're happy and this means extra financial support because they don't have to pay anything to Blackwell. This means new clothes and if I can work it, a new laptop. I don't have to keep telling myself in caps that I'm going to Blackwell Academy. So this is it. I'm leaving Seattle to go back to Arcadia Bay. Usually people go to the high school closest to home. I suppose I am too, it's just I haven't lived there for five years. Out of all the best photography programs in the world, I chose to go to the smallest back in the town I was excited about leaving. 
Maybe I wanted to come back all along just to see if Chloe and I were still even friends. But I do wish Chloe would have moved with us to Seattle. That city was made for her. When we would play pirates in our rooms and in the woods, it seemed like Seattle was that fabled faraway island of treasure and adventure that we were always seeking, but with coffee shops. But Seattle wasn't like a fable, au contraire. Now, Blackwell Academy seems more exotic to me than any other place in the world. To study photography under Mark Jefferson, sigh, insert hearts and flowers. Plus, there will be cool, diverse students from everywhere. It won't be like my high school now. I never really found a groove with my classmates or boys. I'm lucky I have a couple of great friends here, but it's time to ship out. So maybe Arcadia Bay will actually turn out to be the island treasure and adventure I've been looking for. Shit is crazy here. I didn't I didn't realize how much crap I had to pack until I had to pack all my crap. <laughs> mom and dad are getting a little too excited I'm clearing out my room. Though I caught mom crying when she was packing my shirts. That made me want to cry like a little girl and never leave Seattle. So instead of packing, I feel like burning all of my clothes and then just raiding a thrift store to build up a new Max wardrobe over my junior year. Not that I even had an old Max wardrobe. Nobody will know me except for Chloe, and who knows how different we are now. So I can cut my hair, get a tat and some piercings, maybe date a cute foreign exchange artiste from Paris or Rome. I can do anything, unless I get busted. There will be so many super cool chances for my photography to get exposed. Thinking about that is when I get scared but excited, and then I don't feel like crying at all. I get tingles down my arms, sensing the universe opening up to me. I can't wait to leave. I just want things to be different at Blackwell. My first entry from my new dorm room the night before my first day at Blackwell. Phew. I haven't had any time to write or even take pictures since I got here. My shit is in boxes all over the room, which is small but mine, and I never want to leave. I can't wait to decorate. I plan a whole wall of photos. I did meet some of my dorm mates, though I suck at remembering names, so I won't bother right now. But I think I can always see who's going to be cool to me and who's not. It's a bitch trying to get settled into a new school and social scene after I finally found good friends in Seattle. But I'm here now, and this is the start of my new life. Sweet dreams. Blackwell sucks ass. I told myself not to whine so soon, but damn, the day started like Christmas morning. I barely had any dreams because I was so pumped to start my first official day of my new life. Like a dork, I couldn't figure out what to wear, so I chose what was on the floor. I'm no good with names and faces right now, but I picked up some names like Kate, Brooke, Taylor, Alyssa. How could I forget Victoria Chase? Rich, stylish, entitled. I could feel instant judgment when she looked at my raggedy ass clothes, as if I'm at Blackwell to strike fashion poses. Maybe I've been... Maybe I'm being extra crispy sensitive, but I think Victoria wants life here to be like her own reality show. Ugh. So that wasn't fun, along with my general social unease. I thought it would be easier being back. Call the ambulance. <laughs> I don't want this day to end all. Woe is Max. It was incredible to walk across the green campus in the morning mist. I love the stone steps and brick walls of Blackwell. Everything is a picture waiting to be taken. Speaking of, at least one great thing did happen today. Mr. Jefferson's photography class. Sigh. There's more to tell, but journal, forgive me. I'm truly wiped out. I have an assload of homework already. So much bullshit. At least give us noobs a day to acclimate. But to prove I'm not a total loser, I made a new friend in my science class. His name is Warren Graham, and he's a serious geek. Plus, he's dark and witty. He comes across as kind of a know-it-all, but it turns out he does kind of know a lot. We talked about photographers, and he actually named a few I'd never heard of. We traded numbers, and he'll be a good study partner or a good friend. I'll need at least one based on the click action here. I thought being 18 meant I didn't have to deal with this teenage drama anymore. I thought. At least I got to research famous photographers for some of my homework. Mr. Jefferson assigned us a ton of reading, but this is exactly what I want to study. Jefferson is super cool and super chill. He doesn't try to be too hip, just says what he thinks and expects us all as Expects us to as well. I think he's a genius. Oh my god, I want to marry him. Just joking. This one class is worth all the social dysfunction. Homework is kicking my ass. I bet the teacher's grade harder just to stop you from feeling special, but Victoria Chase and her snob minions still front like they're honored guests of Blackwell. Bros here aren't that different. Nathan Prescott is Victoria's male clone with way more money and attitude, if that's possible. Oh, that's the guy from the bathroom. His family's the oldest in Arcadia Bay, and I heard stories about them when I was a kid. The Prescott's got to give a shitload of bank to Blackwell, so Nathan acts like he literally owns a school. Yesterday during class, he put his feet on the desk, started texting, and the teacher didn't say Jack. I would have got suspended. But him and Victoria are part of the silly elite vortex club that puts on popular parties, and so they get their way. It's good to be the king and queen. I don't want to slam everybody. I do like Kate Marsh. She's down the hall and in one of my classes. She's so pretty and sweet and friendly. Makes her more beautiful than the biatches here, like Victoria, who think beauty is just your face and outfit. See, I'm already playing their drama games. No more. Finally had a chance to take some actual shots around campus today. Perfect blue sky day. I always forgot. I always forget how great I feel after I take pictures when I'm, I've been slacking off. 
Speaking of pitchers, Mr. Jefferson told us about the National Everyday Heroes photo contest he wants us all to enter. The winner gets a trip to San Francisco and lots of publicity. He wants just one photograph from each student. This is exactly why I wanted to come to Blackwell, and of course, I'm scared shitless to enter. At least I have a couple weeks before the deadline in October, so I have plenty of time to stress and procrastinate. Sigh. I don't know whether I love or hate it here. I'm trying to keep up with my science class of all things. Like I give a shit or even understand. Good thing I know Warren. Too bad I can't clone him to take my place in class. Miss Grant is much cooler than the class. She explains particle physics so even boneheads like me can kinda understand. I love how she relates society to science and vice versa. I can tell she's committed and passionate about life. I'm like some of us in her class, but I'm trying to engage more, even if it means asking actual questions in class instead of hiding in the back. I'm just glad I'm not the only social misfit here. Now how much homework are you avoiding? October, my favorite month. The best weather of the year. I love fall too. I love watching the leaves change color, turning into tiny flames, but it's still too damn hot thanks global warming, and I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate Let Me Borrow the October Country by Ray Bradbury. I haven't read much by him, which caused Warren to almost revoke my geek cred before I held up a copy of Battle Royale, but he nails the autumn atmosphere of small towns. The last time I wore a Halloween costume was with Chloe. I have pictures of one of my old albums. I should find a real Halloween party to crash so I can experience some social mingling. It's that or a Vortex Club Stroke Fest swimming party. Or is that Backstroke Fest? You're so punny, Max. At least I'm trying to climb out of my cocoon. I should have, shouldn't have, should expect my life to complete change after a few weeks of Blackwell Academy. As my parents love telling me on a loop, you have all the time in the world. Alright. So yeah, I think this just helps you keep track. Seven. Oh. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Dun, dun, dun. All right, let's go and see if we can save that girl. Uh, I'm not gonna bother to talk to him. Oh, God Don't damn it. even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I gotta go I've save someone's life. Photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um. I'm not avoiding or not sure if I have one. I'm gonna say not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Thank you. Press control to quickly undo your previous action using the rewind. Why do I need to do that? Your lace action is represented by Merc on the gauge. Okay. He's turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Mm. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Cool. All right. Made a good impression. Actually, before I head off to see if I can save that blue-haired girl, I'm actually going to end this part here. I'm kind of sorry. I know it's kind of a cliffhanger, but I ended up spending way too much time reading through that journal. <laughs> so we'll pick this up next time. So let me know what you think of this game so far. I'm enjoying it. The time rewind thing is definitely an interesting mechanic. I'm interested to see like how it progresses throughout the game. So yeah, let me know in the comment section how you guys feel about it. And I will see all of you in my next video. Have a great day.